When I use tongue oil on a guitar, I use only pure tongue oil and not one of those blended varieties you find at the big box hardware stores. I also like to thin it with some mineral spirits. That way it will soak into the wood better. Most people like to apply tongue oil with a clean rag. I like to use 1000 grit wet dry sandpaper because when you use the sandpaper it actually works up some sanding dust which mixes with the oil and that in turn packs into the pores and the grain which results in a super smooth surface. Even though the surface looks really glossy when you apply the oil, it won't stay that way. Once it's absorbed into the wood, it'll dry to a flat sheen. Since tongue oil has only a minimal impact on the appearance of the wood, you're probably wondering why I even use it in the first place. The reason is, is because tongue oil does a great job of sealing in the wood stain that I applied earlier. That'll allow it to last a lot longer and will prevent it from wearing off from frequent handling. If you want a glossy or high luster finish, you'll have to use a polymerized pure tongue oil as opposed to regular pure tongue oil. Polymerized pure tongue oil dries faster and allows you to build up layers which can be buffed out to a glossier sheen. This is what the surface of the wood looks like after it's been saturated with the blend of pure tongue oil and mineral spirits. I'll let it sit like this for about 30 minutes to soak in and then I'll wipe off the excess. I just use plain paper towels to wipe off the excess oil. Keep a roll handy. You'll probably need quite a few sheets. And this is what the surface looks like after I've wiped off the excess oil. I'll let this dry overnight and decide tomorrow if I want to add on another coat, but I doubt I will. Adding more coats of pure tongue oil really won't change the surface very much. And that's really all there is to applying pure tongue oil. It's really simple.